Hi, welcome back to the channel and in this video I will show you how to remove the CookieBot CMP branding from your Swift banner. When you start using the CookieBot uh, CMP you may find that the cookie banner contains a certain branding like this. And now you're wondering if this can be removed and the simple answer is yes. And in this video I will show you two ways on how to remove this cookie pop branding. We do this by adding a code on the header of the website to make sure that the logo is not displayed anymore. So let's dive into it. Uh, the first one is through WordPress. So log into your WordPress. When you have a WordPress website, then it is very easy by using a plugin that makes sure that you can er, uh, add certain codes on your website. And I use the header for the code manager for this. Uh, it's a lightweight plugin uh, and I'm using it for all my uh, code snippets on my website, including Google Tag Manager and that kind of stuff. You can also use different ones, but uh, the header for the code manager is the, the one that I'm using. And when you have installed the plugin, you click on add new snippet and then give the snippet the name like CookieBot, disable. Then uh, the site display has to be side wide. The location has to be the header of the website. This is an important step. And then you will need to add this code. And by adding this code, the CookieBot logo will be removed from your widget. So when we press on save, then we go to your website and click on the CookieBot manager um, like this change your consent as you can see the cookie bot banner is now removed from your website the second way to remove the cookie bot logo from your uh, widget is through google tag manager and for this you don't need to download a plugin or something but you need to make sure you have already a good uh, good working google tag manager account and when you have this it's very simple uh, but first we need to disable the snippet that we just made because otherwise um, the, there will be a double uh, snippet in it i've already did this and when we go back to the website and i will go back to the cookie bot you will see that the cookie bot logo is back and we now gonna go to google tag manager make sure you go to the right website and we need to be in the web container uh, we are going to create a new tag like this, click on new, give the, give the tag a name, then click on tag configuration. Here you will need to search for custom HTML because we're going to add the H HTML to the website. Then we need to paste uh, the code into this. I will put this code into the description of this video. Uh, then we go we're gonna choose when we want to trigger this HTML. And in this case, we want to trigger uh, it on all pages. So here you will choose for all pages, then press on save. And with preview modus, you can test uh, your configuration settings. So click on preview at your website, in this case, trackingsuccess.io. Then we go to the CookieBot notification changing my consent and as you can see the cookie bot logo is now removed from your banner and this was really it uh, i've showed you two ways on how to remove the cookie bot banner from your widget if you like this video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one